How's it going guys? Slippy Jim here with some Call of Duty World at War Custom Zombies action. We are here at a rundown launch facility somewhere in Russia and our mission is to survive. This is a map um, called Rocket Base I believe. It's a pretty cool map. I've played a bit of it before. Co-op. And I thought I would come and uh, try and tackle this map solo. Take out these zombies. I don't know why they've got the Nazis uh, overrunning their facility here in uh, in Russia, but apparently uh, there was some sort of a German invasion of the site at some point. I'm not too sure how the storyline goes in this map. Let's get the M1, M1 carbine there off the wall. So as you can see, there's a lot of detail in this map. A lot of this, um, oh, some of this stuff is taken from uh, Black Ops. We got a Lunar Lander over there and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. We've got some, uh, we've got some Black Ops perks and things like that. And there are quite a few Easter eggs and some really amazing weaponry uh, that have been put into this map as well. Well, hopefully I'll get to show you guys at some point here. Ooh, nuke. Cool. Where's the last zombie at? Boom! Alright. Let's buy this first debris here. And um, I'll grab the quarter out of the stamina up machine over here. So there's a lunar lander there, for example. We've got the old rock from uh, Shino Numa here making the screen go all wibbly. Wibbly wobbly. Um, Alright, so we've got to head through there next. Got a bit of a helipad up here. I'm not sure what era this is supposed to be, but uh, I like the detail, that's for sure. Level 3, or round 3, the round where we get headless zombies that we can stab. Always a favorite of mine. I think he has made the zombies a little bit faster than they normally are at this level. So that's cool. Okay, how many zombies we got left? Oh god, that was close. Ooh, death machine for the win! Oh yeah, it's a shame it's the end of the round. Isn't it always the way you get the death machine? Oh, there's a part. I believe this map does have a buildable, which is pretty cool. And I've got minus 6,000 points for some reason. Where was that thing? I need another weapon. Let's grab this thing. I think it's supposed to be a generator or something. Okay, this is getting a little bit, uh, a little bit on the sticky side. Let's open this up. And we will grab the MP40. A good Russian weapon for the situation. I know it's not Russian, guys. Please don't leave a comment that it is German. I know this. Okay. Take these dudes out. Just Oh! Oh, God. Yes, I got it. That's one of the Easter eggs right there. These uh, invisible skulls you have to shoot. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Mob of the Dead a little bit. I like it. I love that sort of Easter egg in this. And there's more than one as well, which hopefully I'll show you guys. Let's get the quarter out of this. Let's add the buildable on that. Uh, was there another one around here? I didn't see another one. 
I think there's three parts to build that thing. Uh, let's take a look up here. We got some fuel cans. Still not sure what the fuel cans are for. Um, see if we can squeeze past this zombie. Have to be careful because I don't have jug. And we'll open this area up here. Cool. Um, alright, I usually open up this door. And there's another skull there, but you have to wait for the flames before you can, before you can shoot it. Just looking around for parts, there's a, a dude with his chest open there. Um, I don't have quite enough points to, uh the box here but every time you shoot one of those skulls you get a thousand points so maybe if I wait long enough for this, there we go there we go we got it okay take care of that zombie you can have one hit of the box please give me something good you can see the kind of weapons we got in here you probably just saw the thunder gun we saw like uh, zap guns uh, stuff like that in there so it's pretty beast but we got pretty good points builder here, the Glil, so I'll take it. Round five here, we should be fairly comfortable. Oh, there's another one in there. I think I missed it. Probably just saw those flames. Those red flames over there, that's another skull location. We've got the centrifuge from Ascension. Which is pretty cool. And this map does sort of... Uh, have Shades of Ascension to it, as you'll see a little bit later, hopefully, as we progress through this one. Ooh, what did I get? Double points for the win. Double points! So we've got the Galil. Take care of that zombie. This Thompson is actually pretty based in this map. I think it sounds a little bit different to normal as well. Come on, zombie. You lost an arm, you've lost a... You've lost a head, and you're still going with the window. Okay, we gotta... Instant, there it is. Get that, get that skull. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. Beautiful. Okay, let's try and get a crawler if we can before we hit that. Oh no, that guy's gonna die. What happened to my grenade then? That's weird. Let's kill, kill that zombie. I'll have to leave him as a runner, I think, unfortunately. And we'll proceed down here. And open up a few more barriers. Uh, I kind of like to hit the box again, but I don't want to waste all my points on the box. Because there are a lot of barriers to open up in this to get to Jug. By that one. Let's take a look around. There's another teddy bear. That's for musical Easter egg, I believe. Okay, sometimes the part. Yep, there's a part there for the buildable. So we need to open this up. And we need to open this up. Check out all these weapons here, guys. Unfortunately, you can't pick these up. We got everything. All the wonder weapons, basically. We just had enough points for that. Um, we can turn on power. There's a second, or third actually, part for the buildable. We'll turn the power on there. Uh, we've got a no another door back there. Okay, so we've turned the power on. <clears throat> Let's just head back through here. Now, I'm not sure of all the locations of those skulls. I know where there's another one. But the last one always eludes me. So maybe we can find that together. A little bit later, um, we should be able to activate that. So this is the rocket, the main rocket that we get to launch in this map. Spoiler alert! But I have to turn on the other switches. Um, let's find them. I think there's one up top near Double Tap, and we can uh, we can build the. Uh, buildable item as well. I don't know if any of you guys watch Breaking Bad, but a very funny tweet from Jimmy Zelensky, one of the zombies, 
well, the lead zombie dude. And uh, he said uh, he recognized the buildable in the back of the trunk in breaking the Breaking Bad finale. I thought that was that was a classic, classic tweet. Probably one of his funnier ones. Um, okay, so we can place that. I'll show you what that does in a moment. Uh, but we got to find the next switch before we pick that up. Where's the next switch? I was trying to think. Get that one up there. So, it's got to be one of these. All switches. Oh no. This is not good. Oh no! Die! Brutus! Die! We got him. Yeah, the map has Brutus as well, just by the way. You probably noticed. Okay, I'm not sure where the next switch is. Um, let's have another quick look up here. I don't want to get trapped up here now, though. Okay, it's not here. I think we already looked there. This is awesome as always. The Galil for the win. Okay, that one's not... I don't really want to hit that just yet, because we need more points. Let's take a look through here. I think there's some switches up. Actually, yeah, I know where it is. It's back here. I just remembered. There we go. So we should get... That's weird. I thought we would get a countdown, but uh, I'm not seeing any, anything on screen here. So I must have to hit something else here. Let's try and make a crawler. Um, okay, here's a switch here. Okay, activate end game. So we get the countdown now. It's not the uh, ending though, guys. Um, I've never beaten this map. I don't really know exactly how to beat it, but I suspect you've got to you've got to get all of those things to count down or something. I don't I don't exactly know, but um, what this should do at some point is basically it should launch a rocket, and uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure at which point the rocket gets launched. I want to kind of watch out for that so you guys can see that, but. You do want to avoid being down. There it goes, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. We have launched the rocket. I'm not sure if you can blow it up. Like in Ascension, but... I don't have a ray gun or anything like that, so... We probably have got the equipment to test that. But that is pretty cool. And if you're down below... Um where we went near that catwalk area when that gets launched what happens is um, you die basically so uh, I'll show you what this buildable does okay we need to pick one up have I got one? why is it doing that? it might be glitching out on me because I added two parts at once let's just see Oh, the lamp's not there? Okay, I need to get the lamp part for it. Um, alrighty. So let's take a look around for um, the other glowing skulls. I have no idea where they're located. Like, for all I know, they're in one of these areas like this or something like that. Actually, I do know where there is one more location. Through there, I believe. I saw that lamp. Where was it? I thought I picked it up. Sometimes it's there. Hmm. We should probably get a jug anyway. Which is through here. This is where the rocket took off from. So instead of being like Ascension where... um where the rocket 
you need to get the rocket to take off to get the pack punch. This is for Jug. So around six or seven, that's a pretty pretty reasonable time to be able to get a jug for any map. I think I think that's usually a pretty pretty straightforward um round to be able to get to jug for like most of the Black Ops maps anyway. Okay, we have jug now, but I have only seven hundred and sixty points. So we probably won't be able to get into the next area. Um Let's just go check out how much it is. Probably about 1,500. It's a thousand. A thousand, eh? We probably won't be able to get... I wonder if there's a skull in this room. Probably won't be able to get enough of this one zombie. How many times can we shoot him in the leg before he dies? I wonder... Oops. We would have had enough if I'd knifed him instead of shooting him that last time. I guess I could board up some windows. Hmm. What are these things? Barrels? Pretty weird. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a skull in this room or not. Unless it's in this room down here somewhere. Oh, there it is there. Yeah, we got it. So that means we can open up the next room. I had no idea that skull was there. That's good to know. I think you can fall off here, so... Gotta be careful. 